I used to dream about the morning sunlight. Episode 210 is the season finale of Rectify. This season, Daniel's adventures and self-discovery gave him life and I think purpose. I'm leaving. Me too. It is finally revealed to Tawny what happened between Daniel and Teddy back in season one. I told you. I'm sorry. He had no right, Tawny. For Tawny, it explains to her many of the ways that Teddy's been acting out, but she doesn't feel like she can come back from some of the damage that's been done. In episode 210, we see Jared go to the Dean house. He's just so curious about this young woman who died all these years ago and whose death affected his family so much. And he unfortunately comes face to face with Bobby Dean. Bobby Dean's an interesting character. He starts to question if indeed Daniel was the person who killed his sister. And uh, I think that happened after Daniel decided not to press charges against him. Take anything you want, take it all. You'll be doing us a favor. Now, there were others. It was dark, but I could see their faces. In the debrief, Daniel confesses, but along the way, he plants a lot of landmines. And it's a very dangerous game that Daniel's playing here with his future. What did you do then? I watched the trees fall. Daniel's confession is it part made up, part real, part remembered? Can there be forced memories? When Daniel confesses, he can be drawing upon all number of things. We didn't offer this deal so we could sit here and listen to you spout lunacy. The final scene of the episode has Daniel alone, wondering what forces are conspiring against him. Is the plea deal accepted or what his future will hold? And it's a fascinating ending to a surprising, extraordinary season.